Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Today on Collection Lessons, I want to talk about trim. This is part of my Collection Lessons series. Anything I see on this channel is anything advice. Let's get going. So I talk about trim. I know that I've, I've been... I'm, I'm putting out Collection Lessons as I kind of come across them as well as make them. And this is one that um, I've been thinking about for the last two weeks or so. And um, because I've seen it in a lot of places. And then maybe it's just because the internet algorithms are showing me more. Or friends are talking about more and I notice more or whatever. But everyone in these high inflation times, which I know I've mentioned this at least a year ago, when I said that, you know, you can't just print a bunch of money and not expect something bad to happen, right? How inflation works. I kind of described that, how inflation works. And so now inflation is hitting lots of things, except for people's jobs, right? Except for people's where they're getting, making the money. So inflation will hit things like groceries and groceries will be, 20 30 40 percent higher but your paycheck isn't so you're really losing a lot of money there right because everything should be percentage based <clears throat> so when i talk about trim i want to talk about like if you're starting to trim things which i feel like a lot of people should trim things like you're trimming your expenses right so let's say you have i don't know five thousand dollars or something right and then like you're like well i need this to go farther because my whatever groceries uh, lots of people's mortgage payments are going up because they're, you know, relying on that low interest rate or they're relying on debt, which when you're not in control of debt, you're slave to the lender is what they call it. And, um, you know, you get dragged around. You get dragged around if your interest rate doubles, your mortgage rate goes up X amount of percent as well. And then you're, it's just going to interest. It's stupid, right? So people will try to trim places where they can. They'll be like, well, they'll justify the mortgage. People will justify debt all the time. Or they'll justify saying, well, I need to eat, but... Then they start trimming things and they start trimming things like like i don't know how many people still have um, subscriptions or whichever but they'll start trimming things and say well i don't need i don't need breakfast is what people are doing now they said there's a survey that said 20 percent of people um i believe it's in canada it might be north america um or the states one of the two either way relative to where we are 20 percent of people are skipping a meal a day 20% of people like they just can't afford it. it's like you know you know the cost of living is only going to get worse it only goes in the up direction on a chart right like there's waves here and there right that's how everything with supply and demand are the waves but you know it's always going this way so like if you don't eat breakfast right now like sometimes I do sometimes I don't not saying you have to it could be a fasting thing but the thing is, is like people will cut this, they'll cut this and they'll be like, oh, this is temporary, right? I'm temporarily going to cut 20% of my meals. And all of a sudden you're like, this is 20%. All of a sudden you're eating less than you should, right? I believe some people, you know, should eat less. You should eat, you know, however many calories in a day. But people that are already slim, like, what are, they, what are you doing? You can't make it any more slimmer, right? So it's like, well, you know, I have... $500 for groceries, well, it's $500 you know don't last as long as they used to because of shrinkflation. You're still spending probably likely $500, but you're getting like, like, you know, less meals, right? Like instead of like a, a, a bar, like a granola bar or something that's that big, now it's like this big or a chocolate bar or whatever. Like, and there's stuff that, yeah, you can get rid of like chocolate bars or whatever. But the thing is, is like you trim it, let's say this year. So in one year you trim it, you say, oh, I'm not going to buy these ever again. These granola bars, I'm just going to skip breakfast. I'm going to go hungry. What are you going to do next year? What is, what are you trimming next year? And like, you can't tell me that like, this won't ever get back to what it was. Like the size increase or whatever, decrease. It won't ever go back. You have to think like that. It's never going to happen. So like, if you trim this this year, what food? Maybe next year it's like steaks. You trim steaks and now you never have a steak again. And then like... If you start trimming things, know that you're going to trim them forever, unless you can increase how much you make. Like, things will, like, my one friend, um, he, he was the best with quotes. He, he was, he was, uh, I'll, I'll call him my wise man friend. And he said, things will always get worse. Things will always get worse, right? Do more with less. Things will always get worse. So like, unless you increase how much income you have, either with a, a business, side hustle, whatever, like that, this is the problem. 
This is the problem. Cutting things isn't the problem. Don't trim things unless they're going to be gone for your life forever. Like, I know when I had, let's say, $5,000, and I probably would spend all of it on random crap, and I, my percentages weren't correct, right? So, like, like I like the Dave Ramsey formula where he says, you know, 25% or whatever max for your housing, right? And here's the thing is, like, people will be like, well, I pay, like, 45%. Well, you can, but it's not going to make you happy. This is, in my opinion, and in, like, Dave Ramsey's opinion and other people that follow these budgets, this is the best chance of you being satisfied and happy and fulfilled. If you're here, likely you're taking from somewhere else, right? In, your, in like, percentage-based budget, right? 20, 25% is right here is your housing, right? And then, like, you know, 10% for um, saving, 10% for giving, right? 10% um, for groceries or food. I think it's label as food. That's why I came up with this $500 up here. You know, like, there's 10% here and there. If this is 45%, what are you cutting out? What are you trimming here? Like, you're not saving because your 10% is now into here and you're at 35% and then you're not giving. Like, you don't give any gifts to anybody, even your own family. Like, you don't do any of that. So, like, what are you trimming? And then, like, you know, there's, like, 10% for health. Like, you know, I believe you should have vitamins in your life these days, especially when we're getting older. It's like, you're cutting these things, you're trimming out this. Now your housing, let's say, is, like, 50% of your freaking budget you trimmed out all this stuff now you don't eat you don't have vitamins you don't give and you don't spend right like i was it was funny i got uh downvoted to crap on reddit it was funny i was in a ps5 somewhere here. i should know better but it was funny i i said like because somebody said oh i'm not playing for i'm not paying for playstation plus this month because the cost of living is too much i said what are you doing next month what are you trimming next month cost of living is only going up what you think you're getting your playstation plus back like you're what are you trimming now and you're never going to do again right because people will think oh the cost of living is just high right now it's not it's going to be high forever the cost of living like in the chart of like if you look at like like the last five years it'll look like this then they'll have this weird like thing like this when the covid pandemic happened in 2020 there and it goes like this this is what all the charts look like like this is like a hundred percent if you look on like the M0, M1, whatever, or at least like, I think it went up to like 500% is where it spiked. That's where inflation was aiming for right here. I'll, I'll say luckily, the government has, has kind of balanced this a little bit out. There were still around 100% inflation rate. You know, you've probably seen in the news, oh, we're 7% um, CPI or, or whatever that's called. And that's on last year's like 5%, like, I believe where we currently are, if this was 2020, like when when the pandemic type of thing happened, this is just an example. Hopefully this carries in the future. <clears throat> this is 2022, right? Like right now, from here to where we currently, like the the CPI, if it was like a thing, it's going to catch up to this number eventually, this 100%. Like we're at like 12%, I believe is what it is compounded. That's just right now. And if it, let's say, is another 10%. Well, it's 10% on this. It's all it's all going to be compound, right? So, like, if you trim stuff right now, know that you're going to be trimming stuff later and later unless you can increase your dollar amount coming in. And unless you can, like, you know, the worst things is, is you having debt driven. If you can't get rid of your debt, that's a problem. The first thing I think you should trim before you trim your savings and your, you know, your health and your everything else is you trim your debt. Get rid of the debt. That's all you got to do. You're like, well, I can't get rid of the debt. Well, you can. Have a balanced budget. Get rid of the debt. Trim the debt. And then worry about trimming unnecessary expenses. Like, do you actually need cable in your house? Does anybody watch cable anymore? I don't even know. But, like, people will have, like, you know, cable, Netflix, you know, um, Spotify, whatever, Amazon Prime, all these things. Keep them and trim other things. So it'll be like, well, I don't need to worry about my health this month. I'll just stay at home and eat good or i don't need to save this month like i said in previous videos you have to be saving because the cost of living only gets worse and if your wage is here eventually you're going to get priced out you're going to get priced out and then you're going to be sacrificing vehicle repairs and you'll be sacrificing like health and your life and then what then you'll say well i'll just get a second job so this is one job here's two jobs 
right? The cost of living will catch up to you with two jobs. It's already catching up to people and families with two incomes. Back in the 80s, there was only one income, right? So, wanted to share that. Hope you guys are doing well. Thanks and talk soon.